I get a lot of people asking me how we were blessed to walk away from corporate America in our early 30s. Well, listen, I don't want to keep that a secret. I want to share it with the world. And so maybe you're listening to this podcast and you're trying to figure out how do I even get started on my journey of entrepreneurship and getting to a level of freedom? Well, text the word freedom to 737-777-9909. Enter your information in. And we look forward to sharing some information with you, a proven system with smart overhead, right? That you can do part-time spare time right from the comfort of your home and have amazing mentors, coaches, and a community of entrepreneurs who are willing to support you and help you on your journey to freedom. Welcome to Code Freedom. I'm your host, Eddie Bales. Have you ever felt stuck? Have you ever felt like there's got to be more to life than the reality that you see every day? Tune in weekly, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays as we crack the codes to freedom in every area of your life. Welcome to Code Freedom. I'm your host, Eddie Bales, and this is episode 132. And today we're going to talk about the year in review. Uh, it is December. It's already December. The year is about to be over, but it's not over yet, right? So, uh, you know, let's make a note of that, that we still have time to, to leave it all on the field and make some things happen, whatever your goals were when you started in January. Uh, and, and, and hopefully you had goals every month that you were consistently working on. Uh, and, and by the way, we're talking about goals in every area of your life. So relationship goals, health goals, financial goals, career goals, um, you know, uh, all the spiritual goals, right? Um, all these different goals that you have and you put them together. And uh, the whole goal is to um, a- achieve that goal, of course. And and sometimes you don't achieve it. You just get closer to it, depending on what the goal is and how big it is, right? But I know for me, I've missed most of my goals when I set them. Because of course, when you set a goal, you have a deadline attached to it. Um, so most of the time I miss my goal, but because I set the goal, I actually get closer and closer to the target. And then I eventually end up hitting that goal until I set the next goal. And then it's like, miss, 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 and then finally hit, right? And then you relieve, you celebrate just for a little bit, and then you tackle the next goal, right? So that's, that's kind of how goals have been for me. But, uh, you know, John C. Maxwell has one of the most, uh, you know, really forward thinking ways of dissecting the year that I've seen so far. And so I wanted to share some of that with you. And 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 so one of the things he talks about is studying your wins and your losses. Like how did you do for the year? I mean I know the year's not over, but so far, you know, we, we've already gone eleven months, right? So like how did those eleven months go? Um, you know, maybe pull out your calendars. I know I can do that uh because I'm very uh, very into my calendar. Uh, you know, I say in my business that my calendar is my boss. Uh, so I, I want to make sure that it's full, that it's effective, that it's, um, you know, efficient, right? So that I'm not just busy all the time, but I'm busy and productive, if that makes sense. So, you know, pull out your calendar. Um, maybe make a list of significant events that have happened, uh, good or bad, you know, tasks, meetings, uh, decisions that you've made. Uh, but one big thing that John C. Maxwell talks about, he has a book that I really love called um, Great Leaders Ask Great Questions. And so here's some great questions that you may want to ask yourself as you wrap the year up, just to see how the year went. Because like, here's what I found. Whenever you ask questions, you got to get answers, right? And and so a lot of times we'll ask other people questions, but when do you ask us? When do we ask ourselves questions, right? Because because here's what I know: um, when you ask yourself a question, the spirit that lives inside of you, hopefully, if there is this, you know, if, if you've you know accepted, you know, Yahweh, if you accepted Yahweh as the your Lord and Savior, Yeshua, I should say, um, then you you have that spirit living inside of you, right? So um, so when you ask a question, it has to answer. Right. And so um, what did I do that I shouldn't have done? That's a good question to ask. Right. And what did I do that I shouldn't have done? Um, What didn't I do that I should have done? Right. That's another good question. Right. 
uh, you know, like what's missing from the calendar? Um, what did you neglect that you should have made a priority? Um, what action did you take or maybe you didn't take, right? What What is the most important thing that you did this year to help somebody else? Because, again, you know, if we're adding value and we're giving back and we're, we're being the, the key is to add value because as we add value, it increases our value, if that makes sense. So how are we having impact? How are we making someone else's life better? Whose life did we impact or make better this year? That's something to think about. I mean, because, um, you know, one thing that's exciting is when your name shows up in someone else's testimony because they've won, they've succeeded, they pressed through because of you, Right. Um, what did you do this year that helped you grow more than anything else, right? And and is it repeatable? Like, can we do it again so we can grow again going into the new year, right? Do you want to make it a regular habit? How can you break it down into manageable, manageable chunks um, to make it happen again going into 2022, right? Um, where do you need to be more intentional? Like, maybe there's a weakness that you need to really strengthen. And if you just, you know, like, like where did things happen to you instead of you making them happen? Like you just kind of let it happen versus saying, hey, I'm going to grab the bull by the horns and I'm going to set the sail and I'm going to make it happen. Right. Um, how can you take things to the next level? So so how can you take a good experience and make make it better? Or how can you grow more this year in the next coming year? Like, for instance, maybe in 2022, you're going to make a conscious decision to listen to more podcasts. Hint, hint, you can listen to mine first, right? Um, but but no, seriously, maybe you're going to read more books, listen to more audios. Maybe you're going to listen to more podcasts, right? Um, you know, I listen to several. So, uh, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm just, I'm infatuated with learning and getting better and growth. And so those are things that are really, really important to me. A matter of fact, I'm going to be in a conference, a virtual conference this weekend. So I'm constantly investing in myself. I uh, just bought a course that I'm still going through, um, you know, and, and, and by the way, let me tell you what the course is about. It's about this whole metaverse world and this, uh, you know, it's, just, it's, it's, it's fascinating because they're saying it's going to be like the new internet, so to speak. Like it's going to be like the internet was years ago where it just was a, a internet boom, right? An internet sensation. And, and so metaverse supposedly is supposed to be like the new thing. And, you know, I, I I'm still, I still have some slight reservations on the metaverse thing, but one thing I do know is it's here to stay and it's only going to grow and get better. And so I need to learn more about it. So I bought a course. I bought a course from a gentleman um, that I follow and I'm dissecting it, studying it, and just getting better and learning on that as well. But um, so, so my point with that is, are you investing in yourself to get better, right? Um how can you make something that was satisfying more satisfying? How can you top this year's accomplishments? Um, how can you su- exceed your own expectations? What kind of investments can you make in yourself this coming year to be better, right? Like, w- w- what's your plan for reading books? Do you have books that you already have lined up that you want to read? Do you have courses that you might want to invest in? Do you have seminars that you plan on going to? Like, it just can't happen. Like, it has to be intentional, right? It's not like, oh, yes, I'm so glad that this thing just popped up and I'm going to invest in this and it's the perfect amount for me to invest right now. No, I mean, sometimes you don't even have the money to invest in it. Sometimes you don't know if it's a good investment. But the key is that the best investment is always going to be in yourself. So if you could learn, if you could just get 1% better, even if you bought a course and you just got one thing that could literally change everything, it would be worth it, right? So those are just a couple things that I would suggest um, to, to really put yourself in a position where you can grow, where you can reflect on the year, and you can make sure that 2022 is not going to be just like 2021. Because I think I said this on a past episode or maybe another episode, but one thing that I know is I can predict the future. I think, yeah, I did say that on the last episode, is that if if you do the same thing next year that you did this year and just kind of go on autopilot with it, then it's going to be a lot like this year. I mean, really, honestly, seriously, take a look at the last five years of your life and see, has there been a progression 
or has it been pretty much the same every single year? And look, if, if you continue on that path, 10 years from now, it'll be the same. 20 years from now, it'll be the same. And we want more. We want better. We we deserve better. But we have to get better in order for that to happen. Does that make sense? So, uh, again, um, you know, this is a time to reflect. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's a time to continue to work and build and grow and, and, and make things happen because the year is not over yet. There's four more weeks to really make it happen. Uh, I got some very aggressive goals that I'm working on right now that um, I'll be honest, like, as I look at it, it seems like a very, like, how am I going to make this happen? But one thing I know is I'm going to make it happen. Don't know how it's going to happen, but I'm going to put the work in. I'm going to do my visualization and and, and all the things that I talk about on this podcast, I'm going to put all those things into practice. In fact, um, before I go to bed, I'm going to think about and feel the feelings of as if I already accomplished it and how it will feel when I've already accomplished it. Like, I'm going to think those things. I may even write some of those things down in my journal as I've been doing. Um, but my point with that is, is that um, you know, I have some goals for the year, but I'm also going to reflect on how things went throughout the year um, and, and really and really just kind of take it to another level. Right. Because, look, it, it's pointless for us to just scream 2022 is going to be your year. Most of us, when we come into a new year, that's kind of where we are, is that we want the year to be better. And you should. I mean, we have a innate and an internal mechanism to be better, right? It's, 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 it's the Father's, the kingdom is inside of us, and the kingdom is always looking to expand. It's always looking to grow, right? So if you believe that, then, then you're always looking for more, right? But it's only going to happen if we're very intentional, if we're very thoughtful and, and thought-provoking, and, and we, we put the work in, but we also put the, have the faith and believe, and we're just... We're, we're planning, right? So, you know, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. And I think we all have heard that before, um, but it's so true, right? Like, if, if, if you know, show me your plan and I'll show you where you're going, right? Um, if you don't have a plan, I already know where you're going, right? And so let's let's put a plan in place. And hey, your plan may not be the one. You may change that plan several times. Um, you may have to get a new plan. Your plan may not work. But it's okay as long as you just have a plan. I think that's the most important thing because most people don't. So I hope you guys enjoyed episode 132. We're talking about the year in review. And we'll talk more about this as we go in the coming month. Uh, I'm sorry, the coming weeks as we close this year out. But uh, excited, excited, excited. And just looking for you to have uh, a great end of the year, but also build the momentum so that when you hit 2022 and when that clock strikes and it's midnight and it's like happy new year and we're celebrating, you already know unequivocally that it's going to be the best year you ever had, right? So God bless you all. Take care, take charge, and we'll see you all over the top. Take care. Thanks for tuning in. Appreciate you guys for listening. Um, definitely feel free to take a screenshot of this episode. Tag me in it on Instagram uh, or Facebook or wherever you find me on social media. I would love to give you a shout out. Hey, you might even get a prize. Who knows? But uh, excited that you had a chance to take a listen. I hope you got a lot of value. And uh, definitely feel free to uh, give us five stars as well as a review. Uh, show us some love and we appreciate you. God bless you all and see you all over the top.